Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I am taking you along with me as I go to the bookstore and do some book shopping. Essentially, a bookstore vlog. I have not done a bookstore vlog in a very, very long time. I love doing bookstore vlogs, and I realized that I haven't taken you guys to any of like the Denver bookstores while I've been here, and I'm going to Tattered Cover Bookstore today, and it's one of my favorite bookstores that I've been to here in the Denver area, and I realized I haven't vlogged being in there at all, I don't think. So today, we're gonna go to the bookstore. I have a gift card, so I'm actually gonna buy some books and we're gonna hang out and have a good day. I'll probably do a haul at the end of this video and maybe it'll turn into a reading vlog as well. Who knows? All I know is that I want to go to the bookstore and I'm excited to bring you all with me. I am all dressed and ready to go so I just have to put on like a little bit of makeup maybe. I don't know. I don't really feel like wearing makeup today so probably not but I'll probably check in with you guys once again as we are heading out the door and going to the bookstore and I'm really excited. It's been quite a while actually since I've been to the bookstore and a long time now since I've actually bought some books. So yeah, I feel like today's gonna be a really good day and I hope you guys are excited to come along with me. returned from the bookstore and I have my bag with my book. I'm gonna do like a little mini haul for you now because I only literally got one book but I do have some other books that I was sent in the mail recently so I'll show you those as well. Hello. I should film more like this. This is actually like a really comfortable place to sit and I like the background. <laughs> so this is the stack of books that I have to share with you all. And I will start with the one that I got at the bookstore today. Like I said earlier, I love Tattered Cover so much. I think it's such a beautiful bookstore and definitely one of my favorites that I've seen around here in Denver and just in Colorado. But I'm so awkward, like so incredibly awkward filming in public. So I hope that the footage that I included in here was somewhat decent. For some reason, I feel like I have forgotten how to film bookstore vlogs. Um, maybe it's just because I haven't done one in a long time, but like genuinely I was so awkward and uncomfortable. Um, yeah, it was, it was weird. So I hope the footage is okay. <laughs> but the book that I picked up there is one that I have been wanting to read ever since I heard about it coming out and everyone started talking about it. I mentioned it in my top 19 books to read in 2019 video. So I knew I wanted to get myself a copy so I could pick it up soon. And that book is The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chokshi. This is a young adult novel that reminds me a bit of Six of Crows based on the synopsis. Basically we follow around this group of characters who are all kind of asked to go on this treasure hunt. They kind of have to solve like this puzzle together and that aspect of it reminds me of like the Six of Crows heist ragtag like team of people. But apart from that it takes place in Paris in the 1800s, I think 1889. And it's supposed to have a lot of romance and angst and drama and mystery and that's everything that I love in a good YA novel. So I really really think I'm gonna enjoy this one and I've just been hearing non-stop good things ever since it came out so I really think I'm gonna like it and I'm really happy to now have a copy this might actually end up being my plane read on the flight that I'm going on soon so uh, yeah I think I'm gonna finish this one probably pretty soon there's also a sticker on the back of it so I'm gonna peel this off and we're gonna do it on camera because it's always so satisfying That's my favorite thing in the world. 
And then the other thing that I picked up at the bookstore was this bookmark because I had a $25 gift card and this book was like $19 so I needed like a few more dollars. And so I picked up this cute little bookmark. It has a quote and it says, the world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page. I'm not a huge, huge fan of the quote. Um, I think there are actually better quotes about books, but I just really liked the look of it and I thought the little yellow ribbon was cute. And it was like $3, which is kind of expensive for a plastic bookmark but I just wanted to use up the rest of my gift card. So I got these two things and I'm really happy. <laughs> so the next couple of books that I have to show you are ones that I've mentioned, or at least a couple of them I've mentioned, um, but I don't think I've actually shown them in a video yet. I don't think so. So I'm gonna mention them now. The first of those books is The Truth About Keeping Secrets by Savannah Brown. This is an advanced copy of the book. This is another one of my most anticipated releases of the year and I am so, so grateful to Savannah for sending me a copy of her book. She also signed it. Like this is really, really special to me and I have already started reading it and I'm really, really enjoying what I've read so far. This book comes out in March, so it's not too, too far away, but I am very excited to be reading it and I'm hoping to finish it pretty soon as well. I think I'm gonna finish like most of these books pretty soon because they're the ones that are like highest up on my TBR right now and this is definitely one of them. The next book that I have is another one of my most anticipated releases of the year and that is The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson. This is another one that I think I've mentioned in a couple of our bookmarked live shows but I haven't actually talked about the book in any video yet. This book is the sequel to Truly Devious, one of my favorite books from last year. I loved that book. It's a YA mystery series and it's fantastic. I've read about 150 pages of this one so far and I think it's like near nearly 400 pages. So I'm almost halfway through and I'm really, really liking it. It's a wonderful sequel so far and it's definitely living up to my expectations. So I can't wait to finish this one soon as well because I know it's probably gonna be another one of my favorites from the year. And this book was kindly sent to me by HarperCollins. So thank you so much to them for sending it to me. All right, sorry, my camera battery died. So if the angle changed, that's why. But I was just about to get to the very last book that I have here. And this is one that I didn't know was being sent to me at all. I had never even heard of this book until I got it in the mail a couple days ago and um, now I'm actually pretty intrigued because it seems like it could be potentially really good and that is The Last Voyage of Poe Blythe by Ali Condi. If you recognize the name you probably know her from the Matched trilogy. It was that dystopian trilogy that came out during the like divergent Hunger Games era and I remember really really loving the first book. I didn't like the second book at all and I never made it to the third book because I didn't finish the second one. So I haven't read anything by Ali Condi ever since that trilogy but this one actually does sound pretty interesting. It's about this girl who is the captain of this mining ship and they mine for gold and it seems like it's kind of like the gold rush almost but it's set in like a fictional world and she's kind of out to get revenge on these uh, raiders who raided her ship a couple of years ago and so she's trying to like get back at them and I don't know something about the fact that she's like the captain of this ship and it takes place at sea really interests me um, so I'm excited to try it out also I really really like the look of this cover I just think it's really pretty but yeah I'm excited to give this a try and see if I like it so a huge thank you to Penguin for sending this to me I had never heard of it at all but now I'm pretty interested so there you all have it. That is it for my mini little book haul. I only bought this one today, um, but these are other ones that were sent to me recently. So I did want to share them with you. But I am also happy that I got this bookmark too, because I have literally zero bookmarks with me here and it's kind of frustrating. I never realized how often I actually use them. But because of that, I've resorted to using like uh, business cards. And I think I have like a scrap piece of paper that I tore off of something in this one with like nothing on it. Uh, so yeah it's nice to have like a regular bookmark again I really miss having all my bookmarks from at home <laughs> but that is it for my little mini book haul um and I think for the remainder of this vlog I am probably just going to turn the rest of this into a reading vlog and spend the rest of my night reading and just relaxing and having a good time I'm really really tempted to start reading The Gilded Wolves because I just bought it and I really want to read this book but I am in the middle of two other books that I do really want to finish so I think I'm probably going to start with picking up The Vanishing Stare and continuing on in this one since I'm the furthest in this one. Like I said, I'm on page 150-ish or something like that, maybe 140. Yeah, page 140 and it's 372, 70 something, 
369, yes, 369 pages. I have made a decent amount of progress. I'm nearly halfway through the book and it's a wonderful mystery and I've been so into reading mysteries and just consuming mystery stories recently. Another reason why I think I really feel like reading this book as well. But yeah, all I've been doing recently is watching different crime documentaries on Netflix because that's like all I want. Ever since that Ted Bundy docuseries came out, like I have been watching things like that nonstop. Um, and I put like my mystery book on hold. So I wanna get back to this mystery. So yeah, now I'm just gonna get comfortable and sit here and read my book for a little while. Oh, also I changed into a sweater because I was way too cold. <laughs> So I am now on page 201. So I have made a decent amount of progress. I'm definitely like more than halfway through the book now, but it is time for me to eat my snack. So I have to get my snack and then I'm gonna come back up and continue reading because I'm getting like super invested in the story again because we're getting more and more into like the actual mystery and we're uncovering like little clues here and there. So yeah, I'm getting super into it again and I just wanna continue. I have 168 pages of this book left, which I think I can easily finish within the next like few hours. It'll only really take me probably two hours to read that. But for now, I am going to go and get my snack, continue reading, and then later on tonight, I am going to do my face mask and maybe paint my nails and just chill and relax. But I'm excited and I'm loving this book so much. <laughs> So it is actually the next day. <laughs> Basically, I got really, really tired and very anxious last night after dinner, and I just didn't feel like doing a face mask. I didn't feel like reading. I didn't feel like doing anything. So I literally just went to bed. <laughs> I did read some more like during dinner and um, before, like while I had my snack. I think that's the last time I updated you guys. But I'm now on page 246. So I definitely made some progress in the book. But yeah, I just like, I did not feel like filming last night and I have tried to film a reading vlog for like two weeks now and every single time I start filming one something happens and I get like distracted or sidetracked or something and I go to bed and I wake up the next day and I just like don't continue the vlog but today I'm continuing it I'm continuing this vlog I have so much to do today because I actually leave for Florida tomorrow and I have a lot of packing to do a lot of planning to do and so much stuff to do, but I'm still planning on finishing this book because I have like a little over a hundred pages left and I want to finish it before I leave. So yeah, I just thought I should let you guys know um, what happened, why I didn't end up following through with my plans. But yeah, I was just not in the mood to read last night at all. And then it got like really cold and really stormy. And now like, look outside. Do you see that? Do you see all of that snow? It was so cold and so stormy and so windy last night. And now everything is just covered in snow, which is beautiful. But I'm also really excited to be going to Florida where it's gonna be like 70 degrees and sunny and I'm gonna get to see the beach, which I haven't seen in months. Y'all don't understand how excited I am. <laughs> so yeah, I have so much packing and planning and stuff to do today, like I said, but I am gonna continue reading as well. So I will update you guys once I do some reading, um, probably after I've done a little bit of my packing and sorting and stuff. Um, but yeah, once I sit down and settle down, I will start reading and let you guys know how it goes and hopefully finish the rest of this book in one sitting. All right, so I have essentially finished packing. I have pretty much all of my stuff ready and all I really have left to do is like take a shower and do some like last minute things, but I'm gonna do that later tonight. So now I'm importing my vlog footage onto my laptop. So I'm just waiting for all of that to finish um, so I can start editing the vlog a little bit cause I wanna get it edited and like scheduled before I leave cause I'm not bringing my laptop or anything with me, but that gives me some time to continue reading my book. So I'm gonna do that while I wait for it and hopefully get a good chunk of it finished. Hopefully finish it within the next couple of hours and then do the rest of everything I have to do. But I have my little reading buddy here with me. Look at him. Look how precious he is. He is asleep. He literally looks like a toy. My heart is melting. Oh, he opened his eyes. I'm sorry. 
I'm gonna let you sleep now. <laughs> but I'm just gonna sit here next to him and read and relax for a little while. He knows that I'm leaving tomorrow, so he keeps like coming up to me and like licking my face and my neck and chin and stuff with these cute little gentle kisses. And he's usually like really aggressive when he licks you, but he's being so gentle because he's sad and he doesn't want me to leave. Now I'm sad and I don't want to leave him. <laughs> But I'm gonna take advantage of this time and lay next to him and read for a little while and hopefully I can update you guys when I'm done with this because I think I can finish it and I really want to because I'm so invested in this story right now. Okay, hello, hi. I finished it. I finished the book and I'm so happy. <laughs> First of all, I'm happy that I finished this book today because I have had so much other stuff to do. It's been crazy busy. I've been so stressed and so anxious all day just because I'm worried that I'm gonna forget something and I hate going on flights. I hate planes, I hate flying. So like I'm stressed about that too. But in terms of that, everything is pretty much done. I just have a few last minute things. And amidst all of that, I still ended up importing all of my footage to my computer and I finished my book and I'm so excited because it was so good. <laughs> if you watched one of my most recent videos, I think it was called, Why Do I Keep Reading Books I Don't Like? Then you would probably know that I have recently been reading a lot of books that I don't like. I've been on this streak of reading like two star books and it's been really frustrating and really disappointing. But this one, this one did not disappoint. It was a solid, solid four star book for me. Very, very good. I think it's a perfect like middle book for this trilogy. It wasn't slow. It kept my interest from beginning to end and it's perfect. I seriously love this series so much. I think it's so underrated in terms of YA series and I think more people should read it because it's that entertaining. And among like all of the mysteries and thrillers and stuff that I have read over like this past year, this is one of the only ones that actually like keeps me on my toes and isn't completely predictable to me, which I think says a lot. So that's why I highly recommend this series if you're looking for a YA series to read or a mystery series this one is fantastic and I have a lot of fun reading them and so far both of them have been solidly good books but that concludes my reading vlog slash bookstore vlog slash uh, book shopping vlog. I don't really know what I'm gonna call this because it was pretty much all in one. <laughs> if you would like to see more reading vlogs, please definitely do let me know. I would love to know what other books you would like me to read for a reading vlog or if there are any specific things you'd like to see in reading vlogs because I feel like I'm getting kind of tired of my same routine with reading vlogs. Like I need something new and I don't really know what I want that to be yet. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Also, if you would like to keep up with what I am reading elsewhere, you can definitely follow me on any of my social media. Also, while you're watching this video, I'm gonna be in Florida out with Zoe from Read by Zoe and Haley from Haley and Bookland. So the three of us are going to be going to book signings and Harry Potter world and stuff. So it's going to be really fun. So if you want to know what we're doing with that as well, definitely go ahead and follow me there because then you can see all of the pretty pictures we will inevitably take because I love taking Instagram pictures. <laughs> but again, thank you all so much for watching this video. I love you all so dearly and I will see you in my next video. Bye.